The final topic in part J deals with humidity. Humidity relates to the amount of water vapor that's in the air. There's a certain maximum amount of water vapor per cubic meter that can exist before the water vapor starts to condense. We symbolize the maximum number of grams per cubic meter that are allowed as capital M. The actual number of grams in a cubic meter of the air in the valley or in your location symbolized as lowercase m. That's the current or actual number of grams per cubic meter. To calculate the humidity, sometimes called the percent humidity, we symbolize it as H, and it's the ratio of the current number of grams in each cubic meter of air outside to the maximum number of grams that are allowed before condensation will occur. Then you multiply times 100% to make this decimal fraction a percentage value. Now, the higher the temperature of the air, the greater is the number of grams that you can have in every cubic meter before condensation occurs, before what's called saturation occurs. So this table shows how as the temperature outdoors, the air temperature increases from 10 to 16 to 21, the maximum number of grams allowed in a cubic meter likewise increases. Now, let's consider a simple example. Suppose at 10 a.m. on a particular morning, the temperature outside is 16 degrees Celsius, and it's measured to have a humidity, that air is, of 70%. Well, we ask then, what would be the humidity when the temperature later in the day has risen to 21 degrees? And that would be 21 degrees Celsius. Well, how do we calculate humidities? How do we calculate H? The equation here shows you. It's the ratio of the current number of grams divided by the maximum allowed. Well, the maximum allowed at 21 degrees Celsius is 18 grams. So we have 18 downstairs there, an unknown M up there. And then once we find M, we'll multiply this ratio by 100 and have our answer. The question is, what is M? Well, let's assume four or five hours will have gone by between then and later, and further assume that during that period of time, there was no significant evaporation of water from recently watered lawns, let us say, that would add to the number of grams that are then, later in the day, present in every cubic meter of, of air. And we'll further assume that there weren't any air currents that drove moisture air from nearby valley or nearby town into your region. In other words, assume that the amount of grams that you had at 10 a.m., in each cubic meter is the same you'll have all day long. No additional water vapor moved in or left. And so whatever M was at 10 a.m., that CM will have, let's say, at 3 p.m. So let's calculate what that M is. Well, we know from this equation that 7, 0 equals the unknown M divided by capital M, which at 16 degrees Celsius is 13. And this is times 100. Well, it's not hard to calculate that the M in this case is 9.1 grams. I'll leave that, leave the details of that simple calculation to you. Hope you don't mind asking you to do a little work. Well, now let's take that value of M that we just found. It answers that question 
and put that M right there to get our final answer here. We have H equals parentheses 9.1 divided by 18 times 100 units will be percent. And that works out to the following number, round it off, 51 degrees, I meant to say 51% as the humidity at that time. That concludes my discussion of humidity. There are one or two other examples of humidity problems in the notes that I invite you to look at. Until next time, stay safe.